Hi guys, my name is Angel Anosik. I'm a content creator, YouTuber, and model, and today I'm going to be showing you my makeup routine. That's pretty much what I'm going to be doing today. I like getting my makeup done because I like to pride myself on the fact that I can do my makeup in like 10, 15 minutes. I like very like soft, subtle makeup, like skin-like makeup. And yeah, I'm going to be showing you guys everything that I do. Hopefully you like it. Hopefully you are inspired to do the same tech. No, actually don't. Don't take my techniques. Uh, first things first, obviously, is to prep my skin. I already did that um, off camera and I wore my sunscreen. It's a very gloomy day in Lagos, but sunscreen is very important, especially for someone like me who is very acne prone and hyperpigmentation prone. I just do not joke with my sunscreen. As I'm doing my makeup, I'm just going to be sharing um, details about my life, just getting personal with you guys on camera. But yeah, without wasting too much time, let's just jump right into the video. First and foremost, I would just like to say that I am creative. I am only just coming into that identity. Like, I am creative. It's also like a constant affirmation to myself these days. Every morning, I am creative. I'm a creative, you know, so, you know, be it content creating, be it modeling, whatever, like, I identify as a creative. So yeah, I'm priming my face with this, um, I don't know if you guys can see it, this NYX Plump Right Back Primer. I really like it, I like how hydrating it is. And also cause like, I like, like I said, very dewy skin-like makeup. I found that this just hydrates my skin even more. Right after that, I'm going to be color correcting. I am using the MAC, um, Studio Fix Conceal and Correct Palette. I never used to um, color correct, but I have like hyperpigmentation and I feel like it really helps you to not put a lot of makeup, sorry, a lot of foundation on your face. So my first experience with makeup, shockingly, was with or through my sister. My sister is a model. She started modeling at 18, I think, or 17 and we're just two years apart. She started learning how to do makeup by watching makeup artists beat her face, like, you know, for shoots and stuff. She would come home and just, oh, Angel, let's do this, let's try this. She taught me how to draw my eyebrows, all of that, and I, in turn, taught most of my friends how to do their eyebrows. But now my relationship with makeup has evolved. Um, my priority right now really is just to get really clear skin. People would say that clear skin is a myth. I think I. I, I would I, I think I believe it to some extent so maybe I would say my goal right now is to get really healthy skin because I'm like the most consistent person like when it comes to skincare and my skin still isn't like where I want it to be but it's coming really 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 long way the next thing is foundation I'm using the NARS in New Caledonia I really really like this is my second bottle in like three years I would say this one has been like a staple in my routine in the last couple years. So yeah, I'm feeling like I want to glow a little. So I add this um, highlighter. It's or illuminator. It's from Becca. I don't know what shade. It's just Ignite. I think the shade is Ignite. So yeah, like this just gives a little glow. Um, I think I put too much, but everything will come together, guys. Don't worry about it. Another thing that I have learned with makeup is Especially with foundation, less is more. I mean, to be honest, like to each their own. The best compliment I've gotten in recent time, I was out and a friend said to me, a guy, he's like, wow, your skin, your makeup looks so good. Your foundation looks like it matches your skin. And I'm like, yeah, thank you. Because I feel like sometimes like guys don't, like guys don't, I don't know how to explain it. Like guys don't care about like beauty stuff like that. But the fact that like a guy could notice that made me feel really, really good because that's one thing I really like in my makeup. I want my makeup to blend and sit really well with me. Um, have you always felt beautiful? Beauty means confidence. Um, beauty means like just secure in yourself. One thing I believe that everyone should think when it comes to beauty is confidence. Like just being confident in your skin. That's, that's what beauty means to me. I'm not sure that I mentioned the concealer that I was using, but this is the Born Too Faced Born This Way Concealer. 
I'm just trying to put a little bit of color black back into my skin. So, oh, I forgot to say. I'm using the MAC um, palette. I really like this palette. I feel like it's worth like the hype and it's worth like your money. Okay, so now this is a tricky part. I'm just gonna use the leftover and the brush to do like a sneaky. So done with my contour. <laughs> so the next thing I'm using the NYX um, blush. I really like this. So I'm just I'm just gonna put it up above my very high contour so yeah the trick i was talking about is you spray your face before blending so i'm going to be using the shallow tiburi uh setting spray really like this a lot i love it i actually really like it while i'm letting while i'm letting it sit i'm just going to do my eyebrows so I'm going to do my eyebrows now while I just wait for that to set a little I'm using this eyebrow pencil from what's this called honey beauty it's a Nigerian brand really like it I'm just gonna fill in like the ends lightly I think I've decided that I don't want like a well-defined eyebrow for today's look so I'm just going to leave my eyebrows like this and blend out the makeup i don't know how people can actually like have serious conversations when they're doing makeup because <laughs> me i'm just here like i don't know what i'm doing i don't know what i just did but okay okay i'm almost done my final step for this makeup is to i'm not baking I am just going to set my face so baking is the one where you like obviously let your face um, let the setting powder uh, set or bake whatever the word is like keep it on for it on your face for a really long period I honestly believe that less is more because this makeup like look that I do these days my makeup looks the same every single time and I love it. I feel so beautiful. I feel soft, like an elegant. But honestly, if you also like more, that's fine. <laughs> but me, personally, as for me and my household, we like it soft over here. Like, So what products do I swear by? I generally like my foundation. I feel like it's very good for like dark skin. The setting spray, the Charlotte Tilbury one that I used, I'm still gonna use it again. A product that I love, I just, my sister just got this for me and I absolutely love it, is this Refi, um, like brow gel, brow tint, whatever. This is beautiful. Do you know that sometimes I don't have makeup on and I just wear this and I just feel like I, shh. I don't know if you, if you guys can even see. It just, it's nice. I also really love the uncovered sunscreen that I had shown earlier that I wore before makeup. Love that a lot. One step that I hate in makeup routine is eyeshadow. But today I'm just gonna attempt <laughs> to put something on my eyelid. So I'm using this Honey Beauty palette. I really like this palette, Nigerian owned as well. Oh, I also hate doing my lashes. But thankfully, I just come back from vacation and I have a lot to do, so I still have forces, like semi-permanent lashes on. So that's two things I hate. Eye, eye shadow and lashes. I guess just eye makeup in general. Ooh. This is a beautiful beat. I don't even know if you guys can see it, but I feel like a stunning black queen that I am. Sometimes I forget to wear powder. I don't even think you really need it, but I'm using this Zaron brown skin powder just blend everything very soft and nice final step that i really 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 like is highlights i like to glow <laughs> so you do like soft beats but then like there's a glow 
just a little on it. The highlight I just used is Fenty Beauty in Afternoon Snack and Mo Honey. The final step is lip liner. I really like this. This is from Sephora. I'm such a brown babe, like my lips are just brown. If I were to tell my younger self anything, I would say don't give up, just keep chasing your dreams. I feel like there are a lot of things that I kind of gave up on growing up, like wanting to be an actress. <laughs> Actually, there are no regrets, but I would just tell, tell my younger self don't give up. I really like this. This is uh, NYX and lip gloss is this yeah it's gloss it's a butter gloss in brownie drip <laughs> and now i'm going to spray my face for the final time and trust me once you do this spray before you set and spray after your makeup the makeup is not going to move at least with this setting spray <gasps> cute okay guys thank you so much for sticking with me to the end of this video. Thank you for getting ready with me. Thank you, Marie Claire Nigeria, for having me on this beauty segment. I really, really liked doing this with you guys, and I hope you enjoyed watching. Uh, let me know what your beauty steps are like when you're getting your makeup done, and if you're looking for me, my social media handles are nay, that's N, two A's, five Y's, two underscores. I know it's a lot on Instagram, um, hopefully, it can be somewhere on the screen. <laughs> and uh, on YouTube, I'm Angel Anasiki. And I'll see you, I don't know, whenever. Bye.